Richard. Hello. Have you brought your pipe smoking facilities? No, I have brought my Where are they? smoking facilities. They're in my little cloth bag. Have you got a cloth bag with the accoutrements in? Yes. So, do you think it would be wise to try and smoke a pipe? So, I've never smoked a pipe. I think that would be a very good idea. We need to find a spot that's less windy though. It's very windy here. Is this not a good spot for smoking the pipe? Well, it might be difficult to light the pipe in this spot. What sort of tobacco have you got for the pipe? Um, today's uh, tobacco is called Savanelli Aromatic. Pardon? It? Savanelli Aromatic. Which is an that doesn't sound very nice to me. Oh, it's lovely. I mean, we'll have to. We'll is just it, have it, to spend it, some time before we actually start smoking. Has the it pipe. got anything just, to do with the Savaloy? No, not Savaloy, Savanelli. Oh, Savanelli, I thought it said Savaloy. It's an, it's an Italian. I thought you said Savaloy Aromatic. No, I thought no, that's no, not a very nice aroma, the Savaloy. No, it's an, it's a, um, an Italian brand of pipe manufacturing. Oh, I'm actually looking forward to this. It's Italian. Yeah, we I have mean, to spend some time just to the Italian those about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, I mean, who's the famous Italian that smokes a pipe? Well, did, Mr. Did... Mr. Savanelli? <laughs> what about Mussolini? They probably smoked a pipe. I don't think he did. He I mean, we, we've got Tony Ben. He used to smoke a pipe, yeah, yeah. and he was pretty left wing. But they're, they're, but they're more fascists, aren't they? Yeah, I, I don't know any famous Italian pipe smokers, really. I know. I think it's it's only really the UK that has famous pipe smokers. Like, for example, David Bryant's the famous uh, virtuoso lawn bombs man. You know that guy? He, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he used to. I saw him on a website that he was described as one of um, Britain's greatest athletes. And there he was with a photograph Smoking of a pipe. him. Yeah, he does. He used to do it. He's, yeah. he's probably one of the few people to smoke a pipe during the Olympic Games. Really? I would have thought so, yes. So that's why I'm quite looking forward to it. Do they have a special, like, pipe smoking corner where in the Olympic Yeah, the, the, the Crown Green Bowling Championships. <laughs> that's where they do it. I, I don't know really no. I'm a bit of a novice but th that's the plan today so we are going to you know this is like the introduction to this video I'm going to make a video um, we we brought some dancers with us here who were, who were, who were practicing a special celebratory pipe smoking dance <laughs> which I feel is very Native American <laughs> do, do, do you think so it should well, maybe, maybe but you, um, you've got a you've got a proper hat for smoking a pipe haven't oh, yeah. you yeah, yeah. I haven't really got a hat no you need to get one. Well, it's done round here. I was it hoping there'd be some sort of, or maybe. Uh, I mean, that lady's got a she's got a baseball cap on. I could borrow that, but it's not the same. No, is it? it's, not right. it's not right. Anyway, yeah. So that's the plan today, and we'll see you in a little in a while when we 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 find a suitable spot, and it will, you can watch me smoke a pipe for the first time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Me and Richard are searching for the suitable place. I have no real idea where this place should be. Richard's a lot more experienced on finding a suitable place to smoke a pipe. It's difficult, isn't it? It is difficult. It is difficult. Wind plays a big part, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't want somewhere that's too windy, but you also need somewhere that's going to be comfortable. And you need a pleasant view. You need something to gaze and ponder across. A, 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 a sort of more a philosophical view. Yes. That's very oh, so we, we really have to search. I mean, so the idea, the romantic idea of smoking a pipe on the spaghetti junction. <laughs> I mean, that has its that has its merits. But when you actually hear the practical facts are, there are no comfy it, armchairs. No. no, there is that bed. No. I don't think if I think if we, we, we it look like we're smoking crack if we do <laughs> if we go up to that mattress that I found. There is a bed here. I don't think anyone's on it. No, I think I think we're, we're doing the right thing. Right, let's keep looking. We'll find Go somewhere. Ahead. Caught you, the spaghetti junction peeper. What are you doing here? Peeping. Who you been peeping at? Dancers. You dirty rotten peeper, Bad you are. <laughs> what are you doing here? Like you said, I'm peeping. This is my job. That's what I do. Is this because you got upset about what I said about your dad? Yeah, it's, yeah. I haven't told you this, but uh, um, the patrons have come up saying that Out of the Blue by ELO, um, you know that album that yeah. your dad's on, that one. Yeah, your dad is on that one, isn't bit. it? Yes, yeah, you, is, yeah, you know that one, yeah. Well, they've said it's overrated, and um, I've agreed with that. 
which I, and I just thought, you know, as your dad was in there, it'd be nice to get, see what you think about that, you know. I mean, because really, it is, I mean, it's, it's, there's not there, that's, there's not that many good songs on there for a start. And I mean, they got Sweet Talky Woman, that's a good one, but there's no other good ones on there, is there really? I mean, well, I mean, there's Mr. Blue Sky, which is maybe arguably ELO's most popular record. Well, yeah, I suppose so. It's subjective, isn't it? But is it is it on that is it on that album? Then? It is, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've only ever listened to it once, you know. And it's a you know, it's like there's four sides, and there's like. Was oh, it a double album? Is it? Yeah. Ah. Oh. And it's uh, it's got the whole. There's a section called Concerto for a Rainy Day, which is like this sort of big sort of masterpiece of songs that are sort of moulded together. I know, but I can remember when I listened to it, it, it seemed to have a lot of filler on there and it was like there's quite a bit of like just these sort of rock and roll pastiches and and, and, and like Chaz and Dave bits. I mean, we're, we're talking about, over, you're saying overrated, not under, they're not saying underrated. They're not saying underrated. Saying it's overrated. not just me, all the patrons have done it. They've all said it. I mean, because we're mates, I thought you you would have some sort of um, perspective on, on on what you know why you think it is perceived as being overrated um so you've come down here yeah, to be lonesome i would just like a career change i think for me it's what is what is in order well me and richard have come down here to smoke a pipe do you want to smoke a pipe of peace <laughs> yeah shall we have a go at that later yeah, yeah, on yeah, all yeah, right I'll then Thumb, but I don't know whether my thumb's going to fit into this ovular hole. Oh, 
Squeeze it down with something. It's not a word, is it? Obviously. Is that enough in there? Well, I fill it to the top. See, look how full mine is. Let's have a look. Oh my god, yours is right oh, to the top. Right, right. Can you show them at home how how you filled it? And that's the correct height. Well, no, you can have it as, as full or as half full or as no, whatever you want. Tell us how to do it. Then if that, you can do that, <laughs> you specified something, and then when I question you, say no, it's not specified. That's going to confuse people at home. It's going to last longer, isn't it? Find out how to smoke a pipe. I mean, if you if you two aren't sure that you also probably shouldn't have filled it. Right, but how long is it going to take to smoke? It'll be about an hour. An hour. hour. <laughs> you can give up whenever you want, can't you? Do we have to tap it on the floor? Yeah, because well, we can tap it in that ashtray. Tap it on the floor. Tap it wherever you want. Oh, I like your ashtray you've got. What wood is that? Brown. Is it brown wood. <laughs> Shall I show them at home the brown wood? Yeah. Oh, that's a beauty that is. So that's your ashtray. This is Richard Boxley's think, ashtray here. I think for the in actual fact, this this one might be meant for pipe smoking because. Let's have a it's look. It's got a thing in the middle that, that you can tap out on. Let's have a go. Oh, don't worry. Don't do it. That's got a nice tone, that one is. Yeah. Right, now... What have we got in here? We've got some matches that are not very good. And we've got a lighter that may or may not have enough yeah, gas so in the it. wind's just come up now. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Now at the crucial moment. So, what you, what you should do yeah. is... You light it all the way round. You're as cupping as you it. You're cupping I'm just it. Just trying to keep the, the wind out of it. Oh, I see. Yes. And then once it's lit, you let it go out. You put it down. Two, and then you pick it back up. And light it again. Is you making it up? Are you making it up? <laughs> <laughs> That's the shock of the video, everybody. I don't know if you can hear Richard because he's talking through a thick beard. But he said you light it. And then, counterintuitively, you put it out. You just let it go out. You just let it go out, and then you relight it. Is that too Is it like seal it? through a straw. I don't think you're talking loud enough for YouTube. You've got to project your voice on YouTube. Yeah. I suppose we are in quite a noisy place, aren't we? We're we are in quite a noisy place, place aren't we? We're not ejection and I bet you for all the billions of videos on YouTube there isn't any one of someone smoking a pipe <laughs> under spaghetti junction. So if the algorithm is looking for that, we've got it's, it made. Do you want to try matches? Matches in the wind don't, uh, yeah, that work, don't work so well, and these matches don't work so well at the best of times. Have you got? Have you got a lighter? Your own lighter? Visually. Try, try the tap. 
tapped it. I think the matches seemed a lot easier because no one was physically in it. Yeah, they were better. Well, I think the matches was better. Yeah, I, didn't, I did inhale it, like you said. I didn't. No, I just let it swirl around my, uh, my head. Have you got the matches? So I've got the matches. Yeah. Have you got petrol in there? Yeah, I did. I don't think it feels up very well. How, should, how long should I let it rest there? Just a moment or two. Oh, so I can have it there? Yeah. It was horrible when I breathed it in. And now I've got horrible taste in there. Yeah. Like there's been a trap in there. <laughs> Asleep. <laughs> is that the sensation? Is That's it? the sensation that's looking at mine. Yeah. You've got a fisherman's accent when you sport talk with a pipe in. Say something now. <laughs> See what I mean? Well, I sound like a fisherman if I. Yeah. Well, I sound like a fisherman now. Well, I sound like a fisherman. We talk like that. Yeah. We do, don't we? Yeah. That's what this one fisherman talk like this. I need that. I need that, man. It took so long. Now, the aim is to smoke as slowly and um, gently as possible. Good. Oh, good one, man. Um, if you go too fast, the, the, it pipe last. Really, the pipe gets really hot and you can't hold it. And the smoke gets really hot and it's a really unpleasant experience. Mine works, so I've got a longer, mm. um, uh, whatever you call one of those. Stem. 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 I've got a longer stem, so that will oh, cool the smoke together. down, isn't it? I'm trying. Can I have the matches, Rob? Right? You're both smoking, it's more than a YouTube, and I haven't really had a big right. puff yet. But sometimes you do need to give it a little. Oh, but I'm ready to go now. What we really need is a, is a nice cup of coffee here, yeah, really. There we go. So I think so. I'm gonna let that go out now. Well, he's already there. He's gone in once already. I think. So. What what you want is is to develop. It sort of seals the top, and then you get like. A, Blowing all tobacco inside the tobacco and that sort of slowly smokes through the tobacco. I must admit, it does seem like a lot of effort but not much pleasure. I mean, it's, a, it's quite stressful. Yeah, but once you get, it takes practice, and once you get going, it's pleasant. I think you're going too far. Bloody hell! <laughs> With my finger! <laughs> Don't laugh, it must be relaxing. You need to look wistfully into the distance, just over there. The no way. Smoke coming out of yours, I've just got air. Smell, like, smelly air. I remember. Do you want me to get yours going a bit? I don't want your lips round it. And you don't want me my lips round it either. You get too familiar now you're smoking that. Like, I it's Italian, that. Italian tobacco, yeah. this is. I should, I should sterilise that when I get it. I would. Then throw it away. <laughs> it's the leg for that. This is down, but it's slightly doable. Can you taste the flavour from the tobacco? Well, it's not, yeah, really, on, it's not really on fire, you see. So, no. <laughs> so that works. I, I, I get a, and you get three puffs out of a match. I 
I've got another joke that goes with that, but I'm not going to say it. In the, in, in the company of gentlemen. No. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm going a bit dizzy now. <laughs> I do think I smoked my... I don't want to carry on. <laughs> Laughed so much at the same time. I don't like it. <laughs> it's because I haven't got a hat on. Can you put it as your hand? I don't know. It's in the car. I feel a bit sick now. If you put it... So, so I get a hat on. You want me to have a look at your... Can I swap bikes? That's it. Remove your beard germs. Thank you. I think you... I think you... you... you um, your tobacco is too loose. I did everything you said. Yeah, well, you, you probably... But you've been tampering, haven't you? Oh, yeah, maybe. Tampering, tampering with it. Yeah. That's why you're getting so many puffs out of it. That one was going. Shouldn't need to light it. I didn't want to go to mine now, did mm -hmm. I don't think mine's going. Yeah, but it's going when I go with you. Can you light it for me? Well, okay. It's late. No, it's late. It's going. Suck some in. No, it's it? Lumpful, didn't you? Don't say lumpful when I'm doing this. <laughs> it, really, it really shows the reality of what we're doing. <laughs> Can I stop now? So is it just, you just wanted that little bit. You've got, you've got a bit of tongue bite, haven't you? That's just disgusting. <laughs> is that what it's called? When you get like the, it's tongue like bite. The harshness, the heat, and the. Nastiness. I'm just going over here for a bit. <laughs> Are you taken to it like a duck to water? Well, all I could do is get duck, duck sounds out of mine. I think it's because Rob's got slightly more facial hair than you. That's what it is. You, you, haven't, did, got, did yeah, you haven't got a big enough beard. Well, I haven't got that sort of testosterone. The, the, uh, the hair that's behind your ears. The hair that's behind your ears. Yeah, 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 the hair that's behind it's not really a husband. It's the ladies' pipe. So that's the husband and that's the wife. That was my first pipe. Is it a novice pipe? No, it was cheap. Which one's the most expensive, please? Probably this one. Because it's got more stem. Yeah. Anyway, are we supposed to be like reflecting on the day or the weekend? No, because I want the YouTubers to think we've come specially to the Spaghetti Junction just to uh, just to smoke a pipe. Oh yeah. All of that other stuff was incidental. We just happened across it. I'm, I'm going to pretend with this one. Is that all right? I'm going to pretend. Yeah, I think that's the best best part. You're going to add some CGI, CGI smoke. Yeah. Now you give me a job to go and do it. Is that the other one then? Or was he doing no, that? No, he was doing that in this one, he's just making funny noises through the pipe. I don't know how you take that. I don't know because I tried that before, seriously. So, I get a tune out of it. It's not really smoke. I think, I think it's slightly flat actually. That one is, yeah. Uh, well, this has been an education. It has been, eh? That one that is definitely the cooler pipe though. Of, of all of the pipes, so. The, that one was the one I bought first. Then I got that one. Then I think I got this one. Then I got that one. But the, these two are my least favourite. That, that's my favourite one. That one, 
perfectly okay, but I, I don't like the smooth ball. I yeah, it's a rubber ball. Yeah, you feel you feel that if you're cupping it, it might just fly out your hands. Yeah. Like and make it go in your eye and burn your also, eye ball out. That one, that's the pipe of a dead man. Um, or a dead person. Whereas these three are brand new. Brand new. So this was second hand? Yeah. Who's had this before? I don't know. It's not a V-Base Maybe Tony Benn. Could be. Could be. Maybe Harold Wilson. Maybe Sherlock Holmes. This is the second time Harold Wilson has got this weekend. Mm. In relation to Hodge No. In relation to other Wilsons. Famous Wilsons. Mr. Wilson. Is that Dennis? Who's that? Do you remember there was a cartoon called Dennis? Not Dennis the Menace, I think that was different. It was just Dennis and he had one there. And his next door neighbour yeah. was, was Mr. Wilson. Dennis the Menace may also have had a next door neighbour. But he wasn't the. Yeah. Yeah. Dennis the Menace. Not Dennis the Menace. No, Dennis the Menace is the one with the um, striped different name. Like, uh, is my lung supposed to hurt? Now, th this is getting a little bit hot now. Is it? So I'm going to pop that down. But since I've got this one here in, in, in uh, reserve... Do you often have two pipes on the go at the same time? No, but, but since you're not smoking that one now, I feel bad. It's not going to get smoked, so I'm going to smoke. <laughs> so I'm going to, like, chain smoke. Swap between pipes. Well, I think this is rubbish. Well, me and Rob are having a nice time. Yeah, nice you are, yeah, you are, but I don't like it. I told right. you it was going to be a disappointment, didn't I, yesterday? I said I built it up too much. But if, if this sort of video is um, popular, which was well happen, but if it is popular, <laughs> what, what, what could we try and do next? I'm, I'm thinking fishing. Yeah. With a pipe. You can smoke a pipe on it. No, I thought you were going to say, like, I'll do it. Frank? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're thinking we could try all the substances. I've got, I've got my dad's Hardy Hawkins. What the hell is that? It's a type of fishing rod, oh, rod. made out of um, some sort of special wood. And it's really old. I think we should try fishing. Do you, does any of you know how to fish? Mm. Uh, I do. Fish is for fish. fish. I don't, I don't know about fishing. With a net, like no, with flies. No, I've done, I've done no, uh, no. a lot of fly fishing, a lot of bait fishing. On the boat, my uncle used to. Well, that's practice. That's more practice than any of us, isn't it? I have actually gone fishing quite a few times when I was younger. I went a couple of times with my uncle. I know the basics angling, of it. Angling and fly fishing. I know that when you you, you send the um, the line out. And when it when it when it bobs down, mm. you shout strike, and, that, and then that, you have to jerk it up. That's that's what you're fishing. And then for a large fish. When the, when the fish takes the, the I am, I am takes the bait. I think I'm just going out anyway, but so I'm happy with that. Are you done, are you? Enjoyed that. When the fish takes the bait, you shout fish on. And then when you when you get the fish in, and you bring it up out of the water, you hold it up like this, and you go monster. Even if it's a tiny one. Well, if it's a tiny one, like it's a little. I bet it's ironic, then, isn't it? It depends on how big it is for the type of fish that it is that you're. It could still be a tiny fish, but it could be big for that type of fish, and then you just shout it. What if it was like a, a tiny pike? Shout What? 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 Like a pike. Yeah, yeah. 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 American. Americans don't know anything. Sega Championship Bass Fishing. No, that's that's too that's that's not the English fishing. That's, well, Sega's English. Japanese. So it's like it's Japanese being American being English fishing. See, English fishing is much closer to Zen Buddhism. Because you sit there for hours not doing anything, yeah. not catching anything. But well, that's the whole point. We could also go hawking. I don't know if that's what it's called. Oh, we're going a bird of prey? Yeah, yeah. And catch a rabbit or something? I don't 
don't know whether but my viewers will like that and also there'd have to be a lot of com- complex camera work for that <laughs> well, we might be on my cinematic do any, of us, do any of us have a bird of prey or access to a bird of prey? No, no, so, no not really. You could make I'll a go, paper mache the dog. Hey, we could take the dog's eggs. Could we? We could go ferreting. I don't have a dog. Hey? I don't have a dog. We could get you one. We'll we'll just scoop one off. I, I, think, I think we're done now. Are we going to end the video? Yes. Do you want to say bye to the viewers and watch this video treat? Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. Oh, I hope you enjoy this. There we go then. That is done. That's it. <coughs>